In other news today, just happening, the New York Mets have hired Carlos Beltran. That's according to a report. This is the least kept secret in baseball right after Mike Matheny being hired by Kansas City, right after Joe Madden being hired by the Angels, and right after Joe Girardi being hired by the Phillies. Why would the Mets hire Carlos Beltran after going through three rounds of interviews with, with six or seven different people and saying Eduardo Perez is the favorite? He was the favorite. Never. Here's why. The Mets were always going to bring in an inexperienced manager. That was their plan from the beginning. They wanted not to have to pay top dollar. Carlos Beltran and players who have made a tremendous amount of money playing baseball who wanted to go into the manager's office are willing more than players who didn't make a lot of money in their careers to take less money. Secondly, it shows some sort of softness by the Wilpon family because the breakup between the Wilpons and Carlos Beltran was legendary. Carlos Beltran, you may remember, is famous in the New York Mets because he watched Adam Wainwright, who's still pitching, still playing, Adam Wainwright threw him a curveball to end the LCS in 2006, and Beltran was caught looking. And then they got into an argument, as we talked about earlier on Nothing Personal. Beltran got into an argument about his medical treatment and how to take care of his knees. But now they get a kumbaya moment. What an interesting choice by Brody Van Wagenen and Jeff and Fred Wilpon to bring Carlos Beltran back. Why? Because what they're doing is they're trying to create a new narrative. The Mets have never been able to create this new narrative of having a GM and a manager who are actually working together to do the same job rowing in the right direction. It's always been the Wilpons have been creating this cloud. They, they feel jealous of the New York Yankees. They sign players that they demand that they want. They get involved in a way that generally the GMs and the managers don't want. And it has created this issue for the Mets where there's no winning. Now, yes, they went to the World Series and lost to the Royals in 15. Yes, they've had the best starting rotation in theory in the offseason. Yes, they've spent money, but not enough for New Yorkers because as compared to the Yankees, it always seemed they weren't spending enough. What do I think Beltran will lead to as a Met manager? He has to make sure that he has the ability to communicate with his players and communicate and filter all the information that's going to come from Brody and his analytics staff. That's not something I'm sure of because Carlos Beltran's never done that before. And as an older manager, meaning he hasn't played recently, he's got to come in and embrace all of the changes in Major League Baseball. Do you think it's easy for a former superstar to look at some of these players making a ton of money before they've proven anything? When Carlos Beltran had to actually succeed in baseball and have that incredible postseason to get paid the way he did? That's why great players most often don't make great managers. And you need players who are fringe players, backup players, backup catchers. This is a very risky hiring for the Mets in that regard. But what I love about it is it's off the, it's sort of off the reservation. It allows for a narrative that's going to be different than ever has existed with the Mets. But then it's going to come the games. And then it's going to come the meddling by Jeff Wilpon, which exists, and I don't blame him for meddling. He's the president and corner of the team. He's allowed to be involved in that. And then it's going to come Brody Van Wagenen. Why is that an issue? Because now if the Mets don't win next year, Beltran stays and Van Wagenen goes. That's the hard part about this hire for Brody, is that was it his hire or did the Wilpons make him do it? Did he want Beltran or did he not? Because at the end, it's going to be Brody who falls on the sword if Beltran doesn't work out, not Beltran. So Mickey Calloway gone, Carlos Beltran in. The Mets hire a new manager, an experienced player, not an experienced manager. Will it work? We will definitely wait to see.